hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this baby dress this is how it looks from the neckline and bodice and this is how it looks on the skirt part it's very simple and easy to make it's even if you know just the basics of the crochet you can make it very easily what I mean by basics is that even you know the basic stitches like uh, front post double crochet, double crochet and uh, chains, you can make it very easily. It's very simple and easy to make and uh, you can make it as long as you want to. By uh, I will explain that when I will reach here by repeating this round, you can make it as longer as you want it to be. This is how it looks. I have already made one this one but for the sake of the video I am going to show you guys I am going to show you guys in this video how to crochet this one it's very easy and simple to make and now I will show you guys the yarn and the crochet hook etc I used in this video the yarn I used is this one it's crystal yarn by ice yarn and into 100 gram of this yarn there is 900 meters of the yarn you can use any yarn you want to totally depends on your uh, uh, choice of yarn and i'm going to use three millimeter crochet hook i will try my level best to make this video as simple and as detailed as i can be but still if there is something that is confusing or if there is anything that you guys did not or don't understand please comment below and i will try my level best to explain it um, so let's get started and once again happy crocheting so the starting point of the dress is going to be here on the neckline and for that what we are going to do is we are going to start with the basic chains and the multiple of the stitches you are going to need is going to be six you can start with the uh, three as well but I wanna uh, start with multiple of the six so that the uh, we end up with the equal numbers of these sections when we are going to do the separation here so for that you can just simply go and make uh, basic chains as many times as you want to it depends totally on the width or depth of the neckline you want one two three four five and six i will do the uh, i will do rest of the chains off camera i will just uh, keep on making chain six until i get the depth or the uh, width of the neckline I want I have made 90 chains and now what I will do is I will slip stitch into the first chain and then I will chain 3 Chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet. If in any round it's counted as our first double crochet, I will mention that. So now what we will do is that we will simply make one double crochet into the same chain where we have slip stitched. And one double crochet into each and every chain. like that simple regular double crochet into each and every chain make one double crochet into each and every chain all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again slip i am going to skip the starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet i am going to skip the starting chain three because as i said that does not count as our first double crochet 
so our first round is complete what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and make a double crochet into the same stitch regular double crochet and then what we are going to do is we are going to make front post double crochet into next two stitches wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet hook uh, from behind around the post of next double crochet and make a front post double crochet into the next again make a front post double crochet into the next into the next we are going to make regular uh, double crochet front post double crochet into next two stitches one and two again regular double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the into the next two stitches one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we will make regular double crochet into the next one and front post double crochet into next two stitches we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end and at the end I should end up with two double crochets to go these two and I will make a front post double crochet into both of them this is not a stitch this is a chain 3 from the last round and now I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 2 double crochet into the first regular double crochet we are going to make regular double crochets front post double crochet into next two front post double crochet <coughs> front post double crochet into next two stitches first one and the second one <coughs> next stitch is regular double crochet we are going to make two double crochets into that one and two front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets and two I will show you guys once more and then I will make rest of the round off camera the next stitch is regular double crochet so we will make two double crochets into that one and two next is two front post double crochet so i will make two a uh, one front post double crochet into both of them one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat by making two double crochets into this double crochet which is plain double crochet and then front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets we are doing an increasing into this uh, regular double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end so, 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch on the top of my first double crochet I'm going to skip this starting chain 3 the next round is very simple in fact couple of next rounds are going to be similar what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will make one double crochet into first two double crochets the regular ones one and two the next two stitches are going to be front post double crochet so I'm going to make one front post double crochet into next two stitches one and two again next two stitches are going to be regular plain do uh, double crochet so I'm going to make two dou uh, double crochets one double crochet into each of next two stitches <coughs> and then one front post double crochet into next two stitches one and two this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end by making regular double crochet into all the regular double crochets like there are two here and then front post double crochets <coughs> into all front post double crochets these two next are these two next stitches are front post so i'm going to make front post double crochet into that again one double crochet into next two double crochets one front post double crochet into next two stitches all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and what i am going to do now is that i am going to repeat last round once more it's very simple that i will make chain three one double crochet into these two double crochets and front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two and front post double crochet into next two stitches repeat this pattern pa repeat this pattern it's the copy of last round we are going to repeat it once more and then i will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet this one we are going to skip the starting chain three and now what i am going to do is <coughs> again this round is going to be the increasing round so i am going to make chain three one two and three and i will make two double crochets into the first double crochet one and two one double crochet into the next one double one front post double crochet into next two stitches one <coughs> and two the next two stitches are our regular double crochet so i'm going to make two double crochets into the first one and one double crochet into the next one one and two one double crochet into the next one front post double crochet into next two stitches one and two two double crochets into the next one regular double crochets one and two one double crochet into the next one front post double crochet into next two stitches one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat 
by making two double crochets into the first double crochet these are the um, regular double crochets two double crochets into this one one double crochet into the next one one front post double crochet into next two stitches all the way to the end so I am at the end of this round I am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet by skipping this chain 3 starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will make one double crochet into one regular double crochet into next 3 stitches 1 2 and 3 one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two one double crochet into next three stitches one two three front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end by making one plain double uh, regular double crochet into all the regular double crochets and front post double crochet into all the front post double crochets all the way to the end and then i will repeat this um, when i will reach here I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then I will repeat last round once more and then I will resume the video again. So I have repeated the pattern uh, the row uh, two times like I this is this was the increasing round and into the next round i made one double crochet into um, every double crochet and front post double crochet into each and every front post double crochet and then i repeated that pet, uh, row once more and now what i am going to do is i am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and this is going to be the increasing round again and what i am going to do now is that i will make chain 3 and 2 double crochet into the first double crochet 1 and 2 1 double crochet into next 2 stitches one and two before we had three double crochets in between these two front post double crochets um, between the front post double crochets we had three double crochets now we have four this starting chain three does not count as our stitch so we have four double crochets because we did an increasing front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two again we are going to do an increase we will make two double crochet into first double crochet and one double crochet into next two stitches one and one double crochet into next two stitches one and two front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat this small section 
we will make two double crochets into next double crochet and one double crochet into next two double crochets and then one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets I will make rest of the round off camera and then I will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then make chain three one two three and make one double crochet into these four plain double crochets one two three and four front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three and four front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat by making one double crochet into next four double crochets one um, front post double crochet into next two double crochets all the way to the end and then when you reach here slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then we are going to repeat this round which we are working right now we are going to repeat it we are going to repeat this round uh, total three times or two more times when we are done with it and we have slip stitched here then we are going to repeat this pattern or this round two more times uh, three times in total this uh, round and uh, then I will resume the video again slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then make chain three one two and three and make two double crochets into the same stitch one and two one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two again we are going to make two double crochets into the first double crochet one and two one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three front post double crochet into next two st stitches or next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make two double crochet into this double crochet and one double crochet into next three stitches and then into this these two front post double crochets we are going to make front post double crochet into each of them repeat this pattern all the way to the end this time we should end up with five plain uh, regular double crochets between these uh, front post double crochets 
Repeat this pattern all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and make 1 double crochet into these 5 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1 front post double crochet around the post of next 2 front post double crochets. 1 and 2. Again make 1 double crochet into 1 regular double crochet into next 5 double crochets. 1 2 3, 4, and 5. One front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets. 1 and 2. This is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end by making one double crochet into next five double crochets. One front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets. Repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet. And then repeat last round, this round which we are working right now two more times in total we should have these rounds three rounds of them uh, I'm working on this round after completing this round I will repeat the same round two more times and then I will resume the video again so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into next two stitches so that I can come into the central a stitch of these five uh, double crochets so I'm going to slip stitch into the next one and the next one this is the third stitch of the five double crochets now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chain three one two and three and in this round, this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet. So now I will make two more double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. Chain two, one and two. And make three more double crochets into the same stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Into the third or central double crochet, we should have 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. Now skip next 2 double crochets and we will work one front post double crochet into these two front post double crochets. One and two. Skip next two double crochets, this one and this one and into the third one or the central one we are going to skip these two and into the third one I am going to make three double crochets one two and three chain two one and two and three more double crochets into the same stitch one 
two and three skip next to regular double crochets and into these front post double crochets we are going to make one front post double crochet in both of them one and two this is the small section this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end by skipping next two double crochets and into the third or central one we are going to make double crochet shell stitch or three double crochet chain two three double crochet skip next two double crochets and then front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain and then we are going to slip stitch into next two double crochets and then we are going to slip stitch into the chain two space because next starting point of the round is going to be here into this starting chain uh, sorry chain two space like that and now we will make chain three one two three and this counts as our first double crochet so i am going to make two more double crochets into this chain two space one and two chain two one and two and make three more double crochets into same chain two space one two and three front post we are going to skip these double crochets and we are going to make one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one and two skip next three double crochets and directly go into next available chain two space and make three double crochet chain two three double crochets or you can call it double crochet shell stitch one two and three chain two three more double crochets one two and three front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end by making three double crochet chain two three double crochet into this chain two space and then one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochet we will work this pattern all the way to the end and then slip stitch on the top of uh, third chain of the starting chain three and repeat this last round i will see if i'm going to repeat it once more or twice more but i'm going to repeat this la this pattern we are working on we are going to repeat it at least once more but i will see maybe uh, I, it depends on the length of this borders etc so i will see if i'm going to need to repeat it once more or twice more and then i will resume the video again so now what we are going to do is we are going to do some separation for the arm holes and front and back side for that what i did was i have folded it in half and then i'm going to skip we have these uh, what you call it sections and uh, what i'm going to do is i wanted to do the separate sorry i had to do some counting that's why i stopped the video i had to do the some separation for the armholes and the front and back side of the dress for that what i did was that i skipped four sections on the arm armholes one two three four on the left side and four sections on the right side and then into this uh, 
into the if you go this way then I have placed a stitch marker after skipping four sections here I have placed a stitch marker into the first front post double crochet when you go this way and on the other side the second front post double crochet and here at On this way we have four sections on the front of the armholes and it's the same on the back side as well one two three four sections and four sections one one two three four sections on the back as well and into the second front post double crochet and here into the first front post double crochet I have placed a stitch marker I have done the same on the other other side as well and then what I did was that uh, what you call it I had to count I had to count the sections here here as well on the front and back side so we have one two three one two three four five six seven sections on the background and one two three four five six seven sections on the front as well now I will do some measuring because I the width of the uh, dress on the bodice part or on the chest I want it is uh, 10 and half to 11 inches so I will do some measuring if I have got the length I want it so I have approximately 11 inches the uh, width here and it's okay about the what you call it uh, width of the armholes but still it's same on the same side it's approximately five and a half inches now what we are going to do is we are going to work rest of the dress now for that for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the last pattern couple of times <clears throat> So now what we are going to do as we did before in the last couple of rounds we will slip stitch until we reach into chain 2 space and then we will repeat the pattern by making chain 3 1 2 3 2 double crochets into the same space 1 and 2 chain 2 three more double crochets into the same chain two space one two and three front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets basically we are repeating our last round and then we will repeat the pattern until we reach here our first stitch marker I will speed it little bit up so that I can uh, save some time. I have reached where we have placed our stitch marker so I am going to make one front post double crochet into the st stitch where we have placed our stitch marker. like that and now we are going to skip all of these stitches uh, from this point to the other point on the other side and this is where we have placed our stitch marker on the other side into the second uh, uh, front post double crochet so I'm going to make a front post double crochet into that Again, I'm going to repeat the pattern by making shell stitch into chain 2 space. 1, 2, and 3. Chain 2, 3 more double crochets into same. 1, 2, and 3. Front post double crochet around the post of next 2 front post double crochets. 1, and 2. 
this is the pattern this this small section we are going to repeat by making shell stitch into this chain two space front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets i will uh, repeat this pattern off camera until i reach my next uh, stitch marker we have reached uh, our point where we have placed our stitch marker so i'm going to make front post double crochet into this stitch where we have placed our stitch marker and then we are going to skip all of these stitches and i will turn or turn the work around and this is where we have placed the stitch marker on the other side i'm going to make front post double crochet into that and then i will make i will repeat the pattern by making shell stitch into the chain two space one two and three chain two and three more double crochets into the same chain two space one two and three front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two and i will repeat this pattern all the way here this is where we started our work so i'm going to slip stitch on the top of our uh, third chain of the starting chain and then i will resume the video again so next couple of rounds going to be the similar one like last one what you are going to do is you are going to slip stitch until you reach chain two space and then you will make a shell stitch into that chain three one two three two more double crochets into that one and two chain two three more double crochets into same chain two space one two and three front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets one and two repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one shell stitch three double crochet chain two three double crochet into this chain two space and one front post double crochet around the post of next two front post double crochets when you reach at the end slip stitch on the top of the starting chain three and repeat this round as many times as you want to until you get the length of your bodice and uh, because the length i want the length of the bodice i want is nine inches so i will see uh, how long it is right now it's approximately seven and half inches so i'm gonna repeat the la uh, this pattern uh, until the length from here from shoulder is nine inches then it means my bodice is complete then i will resume the video and we will start working on this um, what you call it skirt part of the uh, dress the rest of the dress we then we are going to work on that so i will make rest of the rounds off camera i will repeat it maybe two or three more times the last round and or the round this one i am working on right now and when i um, will check that i i have got the nine inches of the length of the work then i will uh, resume the video again the length of the bodice I want it was 9 inches and I have reached the length of 9 inches. What I am going to do now is we are going to work on the rest of the um, baby uh, rest of the dress. Uh, we are going to work on the skirt part. For that I am going to uh, end this video right now because if I will keep working in this video it will be too long. So that's why I will I will. Um, uh what you call it um, end this video right now it's part one and uh, i will keep working on the uh, baby dress in part two so happy crocheting and uh, i will see you guys again in part two